Well, the vision for the firm as a whole is to become a destination firm. And, and a lot of questions about what does that mean, destination firm. And it starts with one of our purposes, which is around trying to deliver work that makes our clients better uh, at their industry. And at the core of that then is to become knowledge experts in our industry. Through design, through innovation of, of what we do, the research that we do, it all plays together. In the, in the market that we're in now where knowledge is very critical to our clients and the understanding of that, we can't just act like local architects anymore. And so it's important that we have a global, national understanding of what's going on. And so we work towards that. Our design expertise becomes core to where our, why our clients are coming to us. We provide great service to them but they're also hiring us because they want to know the newest innovations that are happening in our industries. The healthcare business has been really an exciting piece for us because I think that in architecture as a whole, the one market that it's changed the most has been in healthcare. The appreciation of clients now to think about the quality of design and knowing that the environment that we're creating is critical to their success as a, as a hospital has really been exciting. I think something that wasn't present 10 years ago. And, and so we're really seeing healthcare as being now not as a catalyst for us to help establish our reputation as a leading firm in the region. Well, our best client, uh, the one that we really built upon has been Ch Society Children's Hospital. It's the top three pediatric hospital in the nation. Uh, they've been growing with us and with we've been growing with them over the last 25 years. Uh, it really is a foundation for our healthcare team. Uh, we've been able to establish a long relationship. You don't just do that by servicing them, but you're bringing value. And we've done all their work on their main campus for 25 years, so we're their trusted advisor. So we're doing a $160 million uh, translational research tower right now, which is in addition to one we did five years ago. Uh, we are working on all their outpatient campuses as well, and just finished up uh, the number one uh, cardiovascular a pediatric center in the entire country. And so th those have been great projects to really explore the next step, what they're looking for. And it's gotten national recognition from Healthcare Design Magazine as well, and we're speaking about it. That has been a great foundation for us because our other clients look to them as peers and some of the industry best. As well as in Pittsburgh, we work with the University of Pittsburgh Medical Center, UPMC, which is the largest uh, healthcare provider in western half of Pennsylvania and uh, that has afforded us great opportunities as well and great credibility that we open an office around that client. So we've increased the amount of research that we do, active research, uh, we're, we're hands-on, we do daylighting studies, we're studying high-performance skins, we're studying the changing trends in workforce, uh, we're, we're studying evidence-based design and what's happening in regards to patient care. We're active researchers now, which is something we didn't do before the recession. Um, so that's been critical to the improvement of the firm and really how it's helped set our direction moving forward. It's, it's, you've got to have, build a relationship with our clients that they trust you and that you know what you're talking about. They're looking to you to have the answers. We, we don't have the answers before we work with them, but we definitely want to bounce ideas off of them challenge them to go to the right place. They're looking for that benchmark. What is the best of the best in the, in the industry? Uh, we need to bring that to them. And also, what, that's exciting to me. That's what drives us, that's where our passion is, is, is to do something that is uh, not just the norm. It's been done before. It's something that is, is, what, is what should it be? What can it be? Uh, we look at our past projects as evidence of what's done well and what's not done as well. We're hard on ourselves as well. So we're hungry for that, that uh, option and ability to, to push our clients and come up with something that they never thought was possible. And that's when it's really fun. That's when we really hit a home run when we see something that they didn't even, they took a typical project. We said, well, let's look at this in a different way. And then we come out with a solution that they never thought was possible. You know, the, the whole term culture is one I think a lot of firms will throw around. And, and it's one that maybe, um, you know, gets glossed over because everybody says culture is important, people are our most important assets. Uh, the thing that I would really want people to do is to ask, tell me what are you doing that's different than anybody else? And we have wonderful professional development programs, 
We have mentorship programs in-house. Uh, but I'll go back to the recession. One of the things that when we came out of the recession that we did as we were re-increasing our professional development dollars is saying, are we hitting everybody in the firm? And we said no. And so we've instituted a program that's called the U Challenge. The U Challenge is something that we give to every employee. We give $500 for them to do with in any way that they see fit that just makes them a better person. And it's at the heart of who we are. We have people that have been taking piano lessons. We have people that have been taking trips with their children. We have been people taking art classes. We have people taking all sorts of things. It's just about making them a better person. And then bring it back and share how that's made you a better person. I think the U Challenge speaks to the importance of culture at GBBN. Why you would come to GBBN at this point in time in our, in our evolution as a firm is because you want to grow. You want the ability to have the sky's the limit, really. There's no ceiling here. Uh, we're, we're very, we've got a great foundation, a great group of people that have proven and success with clients that we currently have, and we want to take that next step. So people that are looking and are hungry to really grow their career, have the ability to have a great team behind them and not have things in their way impeding that uh, with an existing structure that's been there for years. Uh, we're certainly looking for people that want to continue to learn. There's no doubt about that. The person that is continuing to look for the new way to do things and is comfortable sharing that to not only our internal staff but also to our clients. And that's sometimes not always comfortable for people to, to get kind of break away from something that they've done a couple times and have been successful at to then say, you know, there's another way that we can look at this and be something new. So that idea of continually wanting to stretch our clients and to, to help them to advance is, is another attribute that we're looking for in people. I do go back to our, our vision to be a destination firm. That was a pivotal moment in, our, in my career, for sure, at this firm, to be able to put that on paper and to stretch us and to never be satisfied, necessarily. We reward what good work we've done, but know that we're not where we want to be yet. Uh, and it's a fun balance. It's a great balance of where we are now that we challenge ourselves. We know where we want to head in terms of quality design, in terms of expertise, in terms of building client relationships. Uh, we want to attract the best clients and attract the best people. And when you do that, it's an amazing dynamic what the power of the group can do and where we can take it.